got a feeling, I was over here a couple of days ago, and this is, there's a pretty good bounce here if you land on the green because it's kind of sloping away from you. So maybe this isn't quite an appropriate for the sh shot that we're talking about because you may finally have to go right, right, in order to keep it around the hole and get it comfortably on the green, on the fly. So let's find out. So I'm going to try to stand here, real left footed, break it up pretty smartly in the beginning, create this nice little angle here, and nice firm handed, literally force the face of the club on the line and see if I can make it go high enough in the air. And if I hit it really good, and I'm not leaning a whole lot, just maybe like this, and it doesn't go high enough, guess what? I gotta go to plan B or get the 60 degree out. Okay. So here we go. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna choke down on it just a little bit. Okay, I think the key for you is to learn how to get out of the way. I hit it a little too hard, obviously. And it's not, I can see already, it's not gonna go very high. Get it a little more forward and not lean quite as much. I'm gonna bring it back. I don't want my hand to stop here and have to stop I want my hand to be in the same spot. That was fortunate there. That one spun a little bit. But you, did you see the flight of that? Yeah, it was perfect. It's I love it. kinda on the low side. Yeah. Oh, it certainly turned out okay. Another thing that bothers me, and I got to remember that I hit that one a little on the inside, which is which immediately makes me think: make sure you get that shaft to come up rather than over there, like that, like that. Okay, here we go. Still do that technique. Let's see. Yeah, that's more. Like it. I still got a pretty good. You know, I still hit 